Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to the Dara Education Project video tutorial series for the C Sharp Window Form Programming tutorial. And in this session number zero, we are going to learn how to install the MySQL Workbench because we are connecting the database and the other Windows Form object with the database of the MySQL. So now let's start and go to the uh, to the uh, Chrome or your browser and. Uh, select uh, this dev.mysql.com backslash downloads workbench and uh, here you will need to uh, download the uh, mysql workbench 6.3.0 and it was almost 28.2 uh, MBs and I am going to download it and uh, I since my have the uh, uh, 64 bits so you can uh, sign up using uh, uh, my oracle no thanks just start my download and uh, it will just start downloading your uh, my sql workbench just wait for a time and i'm going to pause this video okay our download is completed and now we will open this file and uh, just wait for that and the prepare to install a windows installers will automatically run and MySQL, the visual requires uh, Visual C++ redistributed package. If you are not already installed it, then it will automatically install it. Uh, then okay, we will download prerequisites here. And uh, for this thing, we will use OK here. If uh, the your computer was not having the predefined information, then it you can download Microsoft Visual C++ redistribute for the Visual Studio. And uh, since uh, it was needed for to install the MySQL, so just wait for it. download option the size of the file was 13.9 MB and uh, we use 64 thank you for downloading and it will start downloading our first of all we need to finish this one first of all we will uh, install our uh, C++ component for our program and then we will install the other things so if your computer was not installed the prerequisites then this workbench uh, was not working so you should need to install the prerequisite first ok now we are done and for now we will run this program and it will install the Visual C++ 2015 and start installing it. Okay, yes for it. It will start processing. Okay, our well, uh, setup was successfully completed and now we will close it and uh, we will run it to Microsoft MySQL Workbench once again and this time we have no uh, prerequisites is here just go for the next and it will give the uh, location for the installation of the mysql workbench that don't need to change it just click on next and uh, use the complete version and start installing it it will take a few minutes here you can see the installation was underway and it will take a few minutes to install the program updating the files, popping new files 
on your computer. Okay, finally our program was completed successfully. Setup has finished installing MySQL Workbench. And now we will just click on finish and it will uh, open the MySQL uh, Workbench for us. Okay. Okay, now you can see that. Welcome to the MySQL Workbench. MySQL Workbench is officially graphical user interface for MySQL and it allows you to design, create and browse your database schema. Work with database object and insert data as well as design and run SQL queries to work standard for that. So you can run this and the local instances for the MySQL. It will be a root here and uh, you just click on it. Basically, uh, this uh, this is a very uh, important for you to install this thing because if you want to make an application in the database and want to learn the Windows form programming, then you need to install this workbench. Okay. So this is the interface for the program and here you can create uh, your databases and uh, just going to for that local instances and administrator okay. so you can see that this interface informs you that uh, the host and the information and everything about the Felix, uh, server status it was stopped and CPU connections you can start it and refresh it according to your need okay. so if you need to start first so there is a menu for new model new query tab and in this uh, new query tab and you click on it a new query tab was started ok first of all we need to write a command to create database first just like this create database college and I am writing this query here let's save it you can save the SQL file in this way and create a new folder for your SQL files SQL files SQL files and in this SQL files first my first file okay you can save it okay we need to create a new connection for here and first first of all we will create plus here because our connection was not established with the server for this thing we just click on the plus sign here It will open a new window for you. Okay, and uh, simply we will use local host and standard TCP IP connection method, local socket pipe and standard TCP IP, standard TCP IP over SSH, and we use local socket here and uh, 127.0.0.1. 
and you can see that there are pipe of different things but we will use a standard TCP IP for it okay now I am using a username self and use my password we we'll save it and now we need to test connection here here we will give the password once again save password in wallet so we don't need to give ok access net for user using password once again we will test it Sync. I think we will create it. Store and add it. And I'll test it again. Okay, we have a root here, and now we will test this connection. And information related to that successfully made to the MySQL connection. Successfully, MySQL connection was connected here. And now we are going for it and click root here. Okay, you can see that the connection was established successfully and we have all our databases stored here. So if you want to create a connection, then uh, in the next lecture we are going to discuss the uh, different things about how to create the database and how to create the connection and other things. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and Allah Hafiz.